Now, I hate country music as much as the Biden family hates paying for prostitutes out of their own pocket, but something that I do like is a bunch of triggered leftists and their predictable response to things that they take offense of, and then, of course, the person who caused the triggering to begin with ending up coming out on the other end of the situation in a better position than they were beforehand. So who's the most, or rather the latest beneficiary of this very predictable process? Country music star, Jason Aldean. Now he's been in the crosshairs of the, is there a woke aspect to country music? I don't know, all of the stuff, all of the modern stuff from about the 2000s on is all just homogenous tripe and i tried to listen to a little bit of this song it's not my cup of tea that's the nicest way that i could put this but the activist class has been at the heels of jason aldean for a very long time hell he didn't come out with a strong enough anti-gun position because he if you guys remember this situation as much as the fbi doesn't want to elaborate on it but he was the music act that was on stage during the Las Vegas shooting in 2017. Any day now, we're supposed to be getting more information on that. Don't worry about it. I'm sure that they'll be very forthright with that. But no, he wasn't coming out in the same way that Mark Kelly would try to grandstand off of a tragedy in order to push anti-gun rhetoric. Jason Aldean had a very principled response to that stuff. And then also couple that with a a very attractive wife, a very healthy family, and then, oh yes, a healthy social circle. So yes, it's very predictable that they are big butthurt about him. So he puts out this new song, Try That in a Small Town. It sounds like just about every other Aldine release. So if you're partial to his style of country music, I'm sure that you'll probably like it. But CMT, uh, the country music version of MTV, back when MTV used to put out music videos, decided to take the brand new song out of rotation. Why is that specifically? Oh, because a music video, like you can see here, this is from the stupid ass Toronto star. It really doesn't much matter. This is more or less a framing device. We'll get into the specifics very shortly. The music video is racist and it is pro lynching interesting by calling out violence from the far left it's racist and it's pro lynching how do you get to that point in time jason aldean is facing backlash after the music video for his song try that in a small town was released last friday and now the production company behind the project is defending its controversial filming locations yes because this is multi-layered multi-layered offense that the radicals are taking on this one the message of oh uh, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, if you want to go ahead and you want to start riding in the small towns, yeah, we ain't going to take that. That's basically the overall theme of the song. And the music video, you can easily find it, very much so. We'll just go and more than likely have some still shots of this as well. But yes, it's very easy to find right now because it's very popular. So yes, outside of the uh, basic bitch interpretation that this is, oh, it's very anti-left. It's like, yes, it's very anti-violence. Imagine that. And then you want to throw all that additional information over top of it where the only reason that leftists are getting away with violence in big city is because nobody's uh, nobody is fighting back against this type of stuff interesting you want to immediately ascribe that they're out there trying to kill you well you can just go ahead and chalk that up to all of their rhetoric well uh, you know, criticism of a certain lobby is all of a sudden uh, labeled a genocide or to stick on that topic for a second the moment that there's a crackdown on, say, pedophilia, that same lobby will come forward and say that you are trying to restrict our human rights. What are you trying to say there? Just, as, you know, connecting some dots here. The 46-year-old country music star's detractors have slammed the song's lyrics, which some have perceived as having racial undertones and prompting a pro-lynching message. How so? Seems like you're trying to tie a whole bunch of things together. But the singer has strongly denied the claims. Of course, man. It's just what? What? Guns, small town, country, down home, living. You know, all of that same old tripe that... One of the three different themes that you can have in modern day country music. Beers, broads, and a good time. You'd think that there'd be bigger crossover between the rap community and the country music community. Because they both have a love of guns. Well, some legal and some not. However, Tacklebox, the company that produced the music video, told... Oh, Fox News Digital. Oh, I guess we're missing some context here. My mistake. Critics have also blasted Aldean over the music video, the majority of which was filmed at a Tennessee courthouse, which was the site of a 1927 lynching and a 1946 race riot. 
Interesting. Yes, Tacklebox, a production company, told Fox News Digital that the courthouse is a popular filming location outside Nashville, and that has been featured in a number of music videos and movies. In addition, Tacklebox noted the five-time Grammy Award nominee did not pick the location. An alternative narrative suggests that the music video's location's decision is false. Tacklebox wrote in a statement to Fox News Digital, uh, scenes from the music video were shot outside Maury County Co er, Courthouse in Columbia, Tennessee, where an 18-year-old black man named Harry Chote was lynched in 1927. I've seen some interesting situations in regards to what old Henry was up to, and I don't know if it was necessarily justified, or perhaps it was just the 1927 style of the time. The courthouse was also a pivotal site during the Columbia Race Riot in 1946. It's unfortunate that that song wasn't out there at the time. They could have connected the dots to understand that if you fuck around, you will eventually have to find out. News footage of the looting and the fires was taken during the 2020 riots. Yes, and it was proje er, projected on the courthouse during the music video. Looks like we have a still from the, th yeah, the video right there. It looks like, I don't know, every other courthouse. It's pretty decent. It's got smoke in the background. It was very analogous to what was happening during 2020. As long as you don't have short-term memory loss, you know, all also remember very similar situations he would go down to portland but you know you'd have to clear out all of those trank zombies that are loitering the streets in today's day and age statement from tackle box cited several music videos and movies that have oh, filmed at the courthouse including most recently the 2022 lifetime original television movie stepping into the holiday is starring mario lopez and jane her jana kramer oh but i think mario lopez is one of those far-right bigots as well i think he's gay or something i don't know maybe that was just the scuttle tackle box were also noted for the location was featured in a runaway june music video what are we do i i don't know any of this stuff in the 2019 song we were rich in the 2022 paramount holiday film a nashville country christmas with tanya tucker i know that one and miley cyrus 2009 film hannah Mon Montana the movie okay now um Miley Cyrus is gonna get canceled because she filmed outside of a racist courthouse nah it's just because she has no talent at all but somebody who's trying to capitalize on their 15 minutes of fame it's like okay why would I listen to some ancient bitch who couldn't even keep a dude with one testicle around like what the fucking life advice from you you grizzled old hag what was the last time you were relevant when you were doing a duet with other noted far right wing music personality kid rock like fuck off Cheryl Crow slams Jason Aldean's controversial song lyrics for promoting violence. It's basically the anthem to insurrection. Shout out to Accept. Cheryl Crow took to Twitter to call out Jason Aldean's controversial lyrics in the chorus of his song, Try That in a Small Town. The lyrics have been widely accused of being pro-gun and pro-lynching, although Aldean ardently denied those claims, calling them meritless and dangerous. You know what? This is, what, the third article that we're at least perusing a bit. Have we seen any citations to the actual lyrics of the song? Because we're just being told what they are. Well, if nobody else is going to do it, why not just pull them up right here? So, verse one, sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk. Okay, that's a, that's a call for violence if I've ever heard it. That's all I need to say. Just joking. Carjack an old lady at a red light to pull a gun on an owner of a liquor store. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, think it's cool. Well, act a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. Well, try that in a small town. Here's the chorus. Try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Round here, we take care of our own. You cross the line. I won't. Ta er, it won't take long for you to find out. I will recommend you don't try that in a small town. That's what they're taking. Like verse one is far more inflammatory than the chorus itself. It's like okay, yeah, it's basically just in verse. Say, well, rather musically speaking it's just saying fuck around find out just making it rhyme i guess town own i don't know i ain't listening to that shit it's ear cancer my voice sorry my voice is a little bit better you know it's at least it doesn't hurt to speak and the low tones kind of track with the the topics we're going to be talking about today i just find this very weird that everything pops up okay so this song has been out since may of this year and just now, all of a sudden, with the video dropping on Friday, it takes them until late Tuesday to take it down because a, a couple of old hags want to start chiming in. 
Crow wrote, I'm from a small town. Even people in small towns are sick of violence. There's nothing small town or American about promoting violence. What was what was the violence being promoted? Hey, if you guys want to come do any violence, it was more or less a self-defense track as opposed to anything else. But eh, she doesn't want to get that anyways. Fucking goof. You should know that better than anyone having survived a mass shooting. Oh, see, shaming language. These bitches, man, it doesn't matter where the fuck they're at. They're all the same. Shaming, insult, guilt, and need to be right. This is not American or small town like. It's just lame. Is she referring to her own musical output in the previous two decades? Because I would agree. Per Variety, Country Music Television has officially removed Aldine's music video and the song on Monday. The scenes from the video were shot at Maury County Courthouse in Columbia, Tennessee, where a black man was lynched in 1927. So just about a hundred fucking years ago. Big relevance on that. So with all of these people trying to smear the decent name of Jason Aldean, and the best thing you can do is, oh, you didn't come out and you didn't bend the knee to gun control back when your concert got shot up in 2017. What's the public response to this? It just hit number one on the iTunes charts. Like, you can't make this shit up, man. Every single fucking time they try to cancel some shit, the other people look at it and go, okay, fine, whatever. This is, it's the perfect comparison point to Bud Light, okay? Follow me on this one. Bud Light betrayed their consumer base by putting out a message that just didn't jive with the people that would normally sit down with a six-pack of Bud Light. Jason Aldean, on the other hand, knows his customer base more than likely by perusing the different social media accounts before recording this video he believes in what he says other than that or if even if he doesn't he puts up a damn good front so either he spent years cultivating his image or he's just down for the cause sings songs about things that are relevant and pertinent to him and it resonates with his audience which is why when activists, people who would never support his music to begin with, want to try to start to cancel him, well, all of a sudden, guess what? You end up with the boycott phenomenon. Not the boycott phenomenon that you had with Bud Light because they betrayed their audience, but the boycott phenomenon because Jason Aldean isn't backing down, haven't heard any statements from him, because more or less he stands by the message. So people are supporting his steadfastness. Perhaps no press is bad press when it comes to Jason Aldean's controversial song, Try That in a Small Town. Aldean's headline-making hit occupies the number one spot on iTunes' top songs and music video charts as of Wednesday's evening. So yeah, you can go you can easily find the music video it's legit all over twitter i would play some of it but you know hey man it, even though it's been canceled off of cmt he's still gonna be getting all the royalties or all the copyright claims well no it would be his music slash record label that would end up getting all that stuff let's just say they're big copyright fanatics when it comes to music industries song was released may 19th has over 3.8 million spotify streams i don't know if that's good i don't know if that's bad i don't know if that's average over on YouTube, the music video, which dropped Friday, has more than 1.8 million views. It holds the number four spot on the site's trending music videos. I would imagine, okay, does that link out to the actual music video? I just want to see what the views are right now, because I'd imagine it's probably pretty strong. Did it get, no, okay, oh, okay, it's just got uh, different goofy ass tour dates and shit. So, okay, this has, yeah, 2.5 million views, so it's even up from the time that this article was written, what, earlier today? No, yesterday. Okay, interesting. And then, yeah, it looks like it's overwhelmingly supported by just using the extension right there, 182,000 upvotes, 16,000 downvotes. Imagine that, somebody who knows their consumer base releasing a song that the consumer base likes at the absolute screaming and hollering of the activist class, and you'll wonder why it's successful. Meanwhile, an insider for the Post that Al Dean's performance of the song will remain on ABC's broadcast at the CMA Music Festival, set to air Wednesday at 8 p.m. EST. Ah, ah, okay, okay. That'll be interesting. That'll be very interesting. Best was filmed June 8th through 11th at various venues in Nashville. Viewers won't see glimpses of the music video during the broadcast, and Insider assured the post, Oh, heaven forbid you see a smoky crosswalk in a, in a courthouse and his backup band. Oh no, that'd be terrible. Aldine is an, out, an outspoken conservative. He defended himself against a backlash Tuesday in an Instagram story. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that's news to me. Calling the accusations, he released a pro-lynching song, not only meritless, but 
dangerous. Try that in a small town for me refers to the feeling of a community that I had growing up. No, Sheryl Crow is the only country music individual who grew up in a small town, but I think Jack Posobiec, if you follow him on Twitter, you notice something. He pulled up the county that Sheryl Crow's from. Yeah, guess which way they end up voting in Missouri. Yeah, 80% they voted for Trump beforehand, so they're probably a little bit more partial to Aldine's message than hippie Sheryl Crow. Just, you know, hey, just saying, just saying. So yes, uh, uh, where we took care of our neighbors, regardless of the differences of backgrounds or belief, because we were our neighbors, uh, that... Oh, and that was above any differences, he explained. No, that's exact. that is what is in the lyrics of the song. That's why it's important to pull it up, uh, check the source material, and not just go over what the media wants you to see. Which is also a nice segue into the second video that we're going to be doing, which we're definitely going to be shifting gears on this one. What the media is going to be focusing on, as opposed to what they should be focusing on, is going to be very apparent when it comes to dealing with the Hunter Biden situation. So hang tight on that one. I'll have it up very, very shortly. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.